Halfway through September now, summer blockbuster season is well over, giving way to Hollywood's fall rollout of smaller dramatic movies that may catch the eye of Oscar voters. Movies like The Goldfinch, out this weekend and starring the likes of Nicole Kidman and Ansel Elgort. So without big explosions or a flying superhero to sell, how do you draw people into theaters? In our Sunday Closer, NBC's Joe Fryer introduces us to an unsung hero of Hollywood who's been getting us hooked for decades. At the movies, that unmistakable green slate is like a motion picture overture. Hey, let's just take it back one more time. But for Mark Woolen, the coming attractions are actually the main attraction. He creates movie trailers charged with making that critical first impression for multi-million dollar masterpieces. How much responsibility do you feel when you're making these trailers? It's a tremendous responsibility. I feel, you know, there's careers on the line, there's a lot of money invested. Um, there, you want to do right by those people who have, you know, spent years of their lives trying to kind of make these films. What do you remember about the incident? There's a lot of challenges. You know, we're trying to capture what's special about a movie in two minutes. His California company works on trailers for more than 100 films a year. That list includes Moonlight. You gotta decide for yourself who you want to be. Georgia, Runaway. 12 Years a Slave. You're Birdman. And Birdman, all Oscar winners for Best Picture. Tell me something, boy. Such thoughtful, critically acclaimed movies are considered his specialty. Um, they have a special tone, a special emotional quality, and you just want to kind of capture that. His resume is diverse. Do you remember this one? I do. I was a huge Coen Brothers fan. From the quirky cult classic The Big Lebowski to the biographical drama The Social Network. The thing that's different about this trailer is that the first minute of this trailer doesn't have any footage from the movie. When critics first panned the idea of Facebook as film, many credited Woolen's masterful preview with changing the dialogue. If you guys were the inventors of Facebook, you'd have invented Facebook. Woolen's career premiered in the 90s, including a stint at Universal Studios. Well, so, uh, it's a lot of memories. It's here at age 22 he created the trailer for Schindler's List. I had gone to a screening and everyone had, was coming out of it, you know, very tearful and very kind of uh, moved by the film. And I was like, that's, that's what I need to capture. It had no voiceover, just music and two snippets of dialogue. The list is life. That became a blueprint for his work. So it's about kind of finding out what's special about each movie and then trying to honor that. In a world that's... Stylistically, it's a dramatic departure from the Voice of God trailers we've come to know. In a world of wealth and privilege. In a world filled with violence. A world without gas. Rather than putting his imprint on a trailer, Woolen and his team of 30 employees let the movie steer them, digging into the DNA of each film. We spend a lot of time, hours and hours, going through a movie forwards, backwards. I'll watch the movie without the sound. You have to really be able to, you know, do what I call this autopsy on a film. What is the arc of these characters? What, what's the tone of this? What's making me feel this way? Is it something in the sound design or the score? It's why top studios and filmmakers collaborate with Woolen, spending weeks, even months, to create two minutes of movie trailer magic coming soon to a theater near you. For Sunday Today, Joe Fryer, Los Angeles.